Hey everyone, it's Coach Carson. I'm out in Montana for a vacation with my family. We're doing some horseback riding, some hiking, and staying in a cabin. And I thought on the YouTube channel this week, I would turn it over to Sarah Wilson, also known as Budget Girl. She's gonna give you a tour of her duplex house act because she's living in one side, renting out the other side. She's gonna show you all the numbers, what it's like as an investment, what kind of remodeling she's done, and just give you a general tour of the property. So take it away, Sarah. Coach Carson friends, I'm Sarah Wilson, also known as Budget Girl here on the internet and Chad will have all of my socials below, but today we're here to do a house tour. This is my duplex. It's a three bed, two bath on each side, and I have six parking spaces, one of which is filled with a camper here in College Station, Texas. I'm gonna renovate that later. I have another camper that I renovated into a short-term rental at the Ag Wagon, and you can check that out if you want. It was super fun. Let's go inside. Right, so we're only seeing my side of the duplex today. I live here with my boyfriend Jacob and I rent out the other side for $12.40 a month. Also, these are our dogs, Maggie and Stella. They are toy Aussies and I have another dog, Rory, outside. Um, this is the living room. Come on through. And almost, I would say at least 90% of all the furniture and decor in here is thrifted, bought secondhand, um, DIY'd, <laughs> or found on the side of a road or near a dumpster somewhere. But I think it works out pretty good. Let's go into the first bedroom, which is my office and I'm always in the middle of a project, so it's a giant mess. We're just owning it today. <laughs> Here I have a lot of plants, which I really love. I'm also in a local plant friends group where we swap cuttings and plants, which has been really, really fun. This is the dining room area, and this is the first bathroom. I did a lot of renovations, especially in here. This actually has a really beautiful inset tub, and it was tiled really nicely by the previous owners, but the room was a very dark brown, so we fixed that. Also, I improved a lot of my DIY skills renovating this side of the house when I first bought it. I spent about four grand to redo the floors, paint the entire thing, and exchange out some ceiling fans, light fixtures, everything like that. Here's the second bedroom, which we actually use as our master because the layout was a little better. Come on in. So this house actually had fairly small bedrooms, but really big common rooms, as you'll see. But there are walk-in closets in two of the bedrooms, and I actually just reorganized and purged this. Super proud of it. The kitchen was my favorite part of the house. It had just been redone. There is some kind of shoddy work. I think the previous owners were DIYers, but we were able to fix up a lot of things. And overall, I was really thrilled with the way that this kitchen looked. Nice stainless steel appliances. We got in a nice big fridge. And this island has been with me since college. I just repainted it. Over here, we have really nice storage. Uh, and other organizing projects I've done is really working on this pantry so it's as usable as possible. I love these can racks. You can get them on Amazon. Highly recommend. And then on this side, I have kind of a mini tool section. And we also keep our like arts and crafts cart in here, as well as some back stock and extra kitchen appliances. Now let's talk about some numbers real quick. I bought this house in May of 2020 for $230,000. And I actually had it under contract in February. This was back when you could do a 90 day contract and it was appraised at closing at $240,000. I put a $8.5,000 FHA loan down payment and I got $14,880 from rent from my A side and $6,000 in rent from the B side, my boyfriend Jacob pays rent, and making a total of $21,000 in income from this property last year. FYI, that's an 81% cash on cash return. This property also meets the 1% rule. It actually came in at 0.95%. All right, so my mortgage is $1,600 a month. I've refinanced twice since I bought the place, but very marginally for very small points. Um, but 
It costs me $19,200 a year, and I make $1,680 a year on that with the rent minus the mortgage. Now, I will say I have had to invest some money in the property. This year alone, I had to pay $6,000 out of pocket for some irrigation issues, and last year I spent over $8,000 on it when I renovated the A and had to do a new roof, and we also had a flood. So I'm not making a ton of money on this. In fact, when we get to my net operating income, I'm negative $4,200 for the year. But you have to remember that I also don't personally have any housing costs right now. So uh, $4,200 a year for housing and everything else is going into paying off the mortgage and the property is appreciating. I think I'm doing great on this buy. Also with the way the housing market has really boomed lately, similar houses have gone under appraisal for about this size for around 300k or more so i'm looking at about 60k in appreciation over just the two years that i've owned this place i think it's an absolutely fantastic property and i love it and i plan to essentially keep it forever i have a washer and dryer and unit on both sides on the other side the washer and dryer are newer <laughs> and this is technically the master bedroom but we use it for jacob's office And there is a second full bath in here, but isn't this place cute? He's, he's really made it his own. All right, let's go outside and meet my other dog, Rory. Hi, sweetheart. All right, so on the back porch here, we have a grill, a little birdhouse that gets uh, birds every spring, which is really fun. I recently cleared off this space and it is so much better now. Also, this right here is a result of the over $5,000 in irrigation I spent. Um, that's this year alone. We have an issue with uh, water from uphill properties coming onto here and going into the house, but this finally fixed it, we think. So that's fantastic. And then I finished out this area with just some pavers. They are not perfect, but I did them in a fit of rage. <laughs> I also have a shed back here, which we're not gonna go in because it's worse than my office but here is our little postage stamp backyard. The dogs love it. And my tenant has one of a similar size, but with a really gorgeous tree. All right, so that is my house tour in College Station, Texas. I would love to know what you think of this buy. And thank you so much, Chad, for having me on. You can check out a video that he did on my channel down below. Thanks, and back to you, Chad. Thank you, Sarah, for that awesome tour of your duplex house hack apartment. Hope all of you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below in the comments section for Sarah. As for me, it's time to take a hike. See you later.